glitches in the matrix with food shortages and food banks overwhelmed. But here's a weird insertion into this political propaganda or essential public health messages. Government sponsored food boxes include a letter from Trump. Hey, you know, you're starving. That's not my fault. <sighs> Propaganda tastes good, don't it? Chicago food pantries for months have relied on a government-sponsored food box program to serve a spike in needy families during the pandemic, but the latest batch of boxes includes an item some find unpalatable as the electioneers, a letter signed by President Donald Trump. The letter, printed both in English and Spanish on White House letterhead, highlights the Farmers to Families Food Box Program and includes general safety information for preventing COVID-19 transmission. It does not mention the November 3 election, but some local food pantries say it's inappropriate and plan to remove the letter before distributing the boxes to families. Dr. Evelyn Figueroa, executive director of the Pilsen Food Pantry, which plans to remove the letter from 200 boxes on Wednesday, says it is quite an ethical and a misuse of government funds. I find it highly offensive that we have a letter in here that doesn't add any value, and to me it seems very self-promoting. Trump? Self-promoting? You don't say. In the letter, Trump says, safeguarding the health and well-being of our citizens is one of my highest priorities, and I prioritize sending nutritious food from our farmers to families in need throughout America. Conveniently leaving out the point about uh, it was my national declaration of a state of emergency that led you to be in need in the first place. Figueroa worries, including the letter in the box, can be construed as a political endorsement, which tax-exempt nonprofits are not allowed to make. The pantry has been distributing flyers, encouraging people to vote and complete the census, as well as general public health advice to prevent the spread of the coronavirus, but those haven't been connected to elected officials, she said. So the letter this week, started, which, which this week started appearing uh, in food boxes being distributed locally, is disappointing after the food box program has proved enormously helpful during the pandemic, especially in the early months when empty grocery store shelves led to a 20% drop in food donations. Similar concerns arose when Trump's name was added to government stimulus checks sent out in April to allay the economic blow from the pandemic. The $4 billion food box program funded by the U.S. Department of Agriculture gives contracts to distributors offering uh, distributors suffering from the closure of restaurants and hospitality businesses to pr purchase fresh food from farmers. The distributors package the food into family-sized boxes and distribute them to food pantries and other organizations helping to feed people during the pandemic. Nearly 100 million boxes have been sent since the program launched in May, according to the USDA. <clears throat> now, even again, I just I, I gotta like challenge my own premises here. Like, even if the virus is everything that they said it was, how can you pretend that it's not a massive government failure that we basically haven't been able to feed ourselves as a result of their policy? I don't think there's any way around it. I, and and I, I hope that, uh, that, that people are paying enough attention to just not fall for this next round of bullshit. You know, part of what we learned or in one of the conclusions that you have to come to again about, you know, Donald Trump's talent as a con man is primarily in promoting his own brand. So that he's inserted himself and, you know, the, the people got checks with his signature on it. I mean, yeah, you, you know, you can put letters in food boxes. Okay, yeah, you're the, you're the president. It's a government program. You, you want to put your stamp on it? You want, you want, to, you want Trump uh, on everything? Oh, well, yeah, okay. This is what you get for voting for Trump. So um, now in, in some of these cases, they didn't have the opportunity. They didn't even have the chance to remove the letters from the boxes. And one of the, the women involved in a program um, that where they weren't able to said, I imagine that many people that take the time to read the letter will be angry and confused. 
Nelson said, but others don't think food box recipients will pay the letter any mind. At the chosen Tabernacle Church in Bronzeville, which receives 150 food boxes a week to distribute to neighborhood families, the Reverend Sandy Gillespie said she initially was appalled to learn of the letter, which she called a shameless plug, but her group will not be removing the letters from the boxes before its Thursday distribution because it is too labor-intensive and not worth the effort, she said. The church, which has been engaged in get-out-the-vote efforts, not only for the federal but also local and state elections, does not serve a community that would likely be swayed by preserved overtures by Trump, Gillespie said. Now, why do they do this? Like, why does Trump do this? Why why do they put send out letters like this in general? Like, yeah, because it works. And you know, our, our is a community that might not be swayed by perceived overtures from Trump. You would be surprised how shallow some voters are. As to, to just go, oh, that was the food box that came from Trump, right? Because it had a letter signed by Trump in it. That came from Trump. It happens because it, it, it works. I do, th and, and you know, strategically, this might be like around the margins that they would be able to, uh, you know, flip certain districts, flip a few electoral college votes, perhaps. And this might be, you know, Trump's better strategy. Sad thing is, as part of this is the, uh, or as this is part of the general desperate attempt for attention, then you're going to see uh, th them get more desperate because they get less effective. Uh, you, you have to send out more content if it has less of an impact. And uh, yeah, putting, putting letters in food boxes is kind of desperate. 